Hey there, welcome back to Desert Mage. Uh, this week I'm trying something new. I'm going to break down Monday through Friday uh, into five different readings for your human design type. Manifestors, generators, manifesting generators, projectors, and reflectors. If you're not familiar with human design, it is based on the I Ching, astrology, as well as the Kabbalah Tree of Life. It is a really cool tool for embracing who you are in this life without all of the conditioning that comes from society and family and everything else. So it's a really fun thing to check out. I'm not an expert in human design, but I'm definitely interested in and I think it's super fun and enlightening. And I thought it would be neat to sort of stray away from the traditional astrological sun sign reading and just try this out and see if it resonates with anyone. Um, so if you do not know how to find your human design type, I'll put the information in the description box below and you can check it out. All right, talk to you soon. Hey there, generators. Today I'm bringing you a reading for human design type generators using my fairy oracle deck and my runes. I've noticed uh, this is the last reading of the five types this week and a lot of similar cards have been coming up so I think <laughs> definitely there's just an uh, a similar thread running through everyone uh, uh, with what we're dealing with the um, the pandemic um, and, and how we're dealing with it as a collective. So I pulled uh, one rune initially to to look at what the theme of this reading would be um, and what came up was this rune that talks about disruption. Duh, right? Disruption. Change, freedom. Um, but what I think is most important here, liberation. Um, events beyond our control. It is the great awakener. It is helping us to emerge, emerge from a deep sleep. The universe, the, <laughs> the universe is forcing you to grow. It's, it's waking you up. You know, we get comfortable in our routines. We get comfortable in our jobs and our, in our home lives. And um, I think, how do we react when things don't go as planned? Um, those are... Those are amazing moments to be able to find your true self and to grow in those moments. Um, and we're living it. I mean, generators, um, they are the, you're the largest group of, um, of people within the human design makeup. Your, your group makes up the largest percentage. So yeah, we're definitely all going through it. Uh, the first fairy card that came up is Gotcha. This has come up, I think, in, uh, in at least two other readings. This to me is very similar to the Tower card in traditional tarot. Um, basically, it says, expect the unexpected. Um, and this also talks about liberation. This is the breaking down of structures and looking at things that we used to think brought us security in our lives. They're crumbling. And as all these st structures are shifting and they're crumbling, instead of thinking, how can we put the pieces back in exactly the same orientation and the place that we had them before, it's asking for us to pause and consider what you would like to build and what we need to build. 
so that we don't end up in the same place at a, at a future point in time. This is a chance for us to drastically shift, not just how you individually approach things um, and structure things, but us as a larger group um, and globally. The second card is Iris of the Rainbows. You can see her. And she talks about hope and promise for the future, which I think we're all looking for right now. You know, it's really uncertain, and we would love some reassurance that things are going to work out okay. She wants you to know that there is light breaking through the darkness at this point. That your ability to hold hope is very powerful. And powerful if we can all hold hope. Um, it, um, it multiplies. It's very powerful. And that we need to look for the beauty and brightness in our existence and, and what's going on around us and in our earth and in our families and our situations, even when the storm is not over. And ask ourselves, are we really ready for change? Or are we clinging to everything that was... Um, commonplace to us, that made us feel safe, that, that um, we were comfortable with status quo? Are we ready to shake things up and build something new? The third card that came out in its reverse position is the Guardian of the Gate. This card usually talks about passage to a new life, um, that there are huge openings. It's, a, it's basically like a doorway, a portal that you're, you're about to walk through. In its reverse position, it's us hitting a wall. You know, we're, you know, maybe you were hoping for the next uh, career opportunity to come through, or you're thinking about moving or taking a trip, or you know, um, committing to some sort of relationship or new situation. And then suddenly the, the way the world works just totally shifted and just kind of dropped this bomb on you. And you're like, okay, um, what do I do now? Uh, all, it just sort of screwed up all my plans. And it's a time when we, when we keep wanting an outcome and we're hitting up against resistance, any time you hit resistance, it is an excellent time to pause and check in with what's really going on. Because usually that is a signal to you and a signal from spirit that it is either time to pause, rethink, and reroute or it can happen and it will happen, but it's not the right time. And so we need to have that patience and knowing that uh, there's a saying that I really like, uh, that nothing that is ours will go past us. Um, so knowing that like everything happens when it should happen and as it should happen. And then the, the idea of missing out isn't actually, isn't exactly real. Because if it's meant to be yours, it will be yours. It just might not be in this moment. Um, so we're, we're being asked to sort of go inward a little bit in this self-isolation time and take some time to really um, think about it, but not just in your mind, in 
from a deeper place on a soul level like if we're pa if we are going to have the chance to pass into a new life to cross that threshold what does that look like for you what do you want that to look like if we have a chance to completely redo things like if we're thinking about how we want our life and how we want our, our world to be as a hypothetical you have all the time in the world right now to dream up what that looks like and that in itself is super powerful to start visualizing what that's going to look like and using that hope to make your your vision something that you actually want not something that you fear is going to happen the next card that came out in its reversed position is honesty this is asking you are you really being honest with yourself are um, this often talks about you maybe being in a bit of denial about what's going on you feeling like I'm going into overwhelm so I'm gonna shut down and I'm gonna go into denial because that's the only place that like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of turtle turtle in and you know go back into my shell because this is all too scary it is all too unsure and and it doesn't feel good so it's sort of asking you to get real with yourself and in small pieces that you can handle face them straight on until you've you've faced it and you can deal with it and then move on to the next piece um, because when we deceive ourselves it creates anxiety confusion complications uh, we become harder on ourselves than we need to be when what we really need is self-compassion and we start acting out at others and they're like what is going on and so it's a it's a good time to start dealing with that inner stuff cleaning that stuff up the next card that comes out is it'll be the retriever I love Ilby. He's very sweet. Ilby has this little sort of pearl he's holding around his throat chakra. Um, I often think of that as like, is there something you need to say that you've been denying yourself the chance to say, to say out loud? Um, whether that's a dream or a fear or whatever that is. Um, but this card also talks about um, as things, everything is shifting and everything's crumbling and things are changing and nothing looks like it used to be, you know, we're, we have a chance to sort of start from scratch here. So connect with your inner child think about what your five or six year old self wanted to do in life you know were you really into animals or I don't know you wanted to be a marine biologist or a dentist or uh, you wanted to be an illustrator and and draw children's books you know what are the things that you love to do? Did you just love to play with plants and bugs and and dirt? Like think think about that. Think about the things that seemed unrealistic that you just loved that came naturally to you. Is there a lost dream, a lost hope, something that you can bring back at this time and start daydreaming about, start night dreaming about? start writing about, start planning. Even if you don't know that you're actually gonna pull the trigger, can you bring a piece of that back? Um, 
you know, like I was talking about, when you're when you're envisioning with all that hope, how are you going to build this new life? We don't know how long this is going to last in this sort of pause state. So how can we use the time to think about what we can do differently and how we can have more fun with it, you know? Because, yeah, obviously there are some there are some real issues to think about, especially financially um, and with our health and things like that. Are there areas that we can make room for more movement and more fun um, so that it all doesn't feel so tensed and, um, and rigid and we're just bracing for the next blow? Can we find movement space to, to find something sweeter there? Next card that came out also in the reverse position. This is the Pook. The Pook is the card of paradox. And while I think most people would agree we're in a pretty crummy situation, we are in a paradox. There is good in the bad. It's a little hard to see right now, but there there will be good from the bad. And as we spend this time inward, it is a time to postpone your actions, your judgments, your decisions. It's asking you to relax, to wait, and just to stay alert, to stay open. Because things are going to come to you, uh, intuitive hits or synchronicities and messages and dreams and things like that. And you can use that to guide your future decisions. But at this time, it's just, it's a time of preparation. The next card out is the Topsy Turvets, who I love dearly. They're so fun. And if you've ever lived in a situation where you had to go to the laundromat, you may be familiar with front-loading washers with that, that glass front. This is what I think of every time I see the topsy turbots. They're just spinning around in there, and with every spin of the drum, they get to see a new perspective uh, outward into the world. And that's what we're being asked here. Uh, you know, as, as we feel this disruption, we feel this tower moment, this crumbling of things, we're, we're getting turned on our heads and it's like, what, is, what do things look like now? What can they look like now? It's... And I, I, what I like about the topsy turbots too, is that they're being, you know, they're sort of tumbling around. But when you, when you think of being um, tumbling, it's very playful, you know, like, like, um, like a gymnastic studio or something. You're tumbling around, you're having fun with it. It's playful. It's, it's playfully changing your perspective instead of viewing it in a way that you're being forced to stand on your head. <laughs> and the last card out is Lawathis the Wild. He is a super fiery figure, but he did come out reversed. And when he's in his reversed position, he talks about the feeling of burnout, the feeling of blocks, the feeling of uh, being creatively blocked, the need for recharging. He's, 
you know, as fiery as he is, he's saying, hey, the fire is getting a little low here. Like, you know, there's, there's no more wood left. Like, what's going on? I'm just going to go out. So you need to feed the fire a little bit because it's about to go out. You're, you're running on fumes here. Um, so this is a good time to really um, have self-care moments and feed yourself. Feed yourself in a, like, of course, food way, but feed yourself spiritually and, and emotionally and, um, you know, any, any way that you can really take care of yourself and nurture yourself at this time. What other point in history have you had exactly this opportunity? How can we use that to our advantage? Uh, and, you know, if we never, if things go back to normal next week, which they probably won't, um, then how can we use this time right now um, as an advantage to really take care of ourselves, to really think about the things we never allow ourselves to think about or to play with. Um, I think it can be a very creative time. And Luathis sometimes can be a very destructive energy, which sort of goes hands in hand with, you know, um, Disruption, gotcha, the tower. Um, but can we, you know, uh, let's see. Pook was talking about seeing good and the bad. Can we see destruction as useful? Can we see it in a positive light? So that is your message for today, generators. I'd love to hear what you think about the reading, uh, what's going on in wherever you are in the world, and some of the challenges you're facing and how you're navigating this, this new, um, new time of uncharted waters. Um, and... I thank you for stopping by, and hopefully I'll see you next Friday. All right, take care.